Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my Sparta campaign for Rome 2 with the Divide at Impera Overhaul Modification. Last episode we took Larissa and we are just currently sitting here outside of Sparta trying to replenish and recruit troops. Um, if you remember from the previous episode we had a cavalry unit in queue here, I remove that. Uh, because I don't think it's going to be necessary. They're from the elite class. So we kind of want to keep those elite classes a tiny bit higher in the settlements. And as uh, someone stated, um, we cannot, we cannot have uh, only elite troops in our army. There's just no way. We don't have the population for it. So we need to try and use every population class. Um, so... The dream of a full stack Spartan army is not going to happen, not yet at least, perhaps later in the campaign, but not now. Uh, we are going to merge these guys up, and let's merge them up, and let's merge these guys together, and we're gonna, just going to have to recruit new guys instead. And this time I'm also going to wait until we have a full stacked army before I attack, and the next target is going to be Apollonia here, the Epirus uh, location here, and we're going to try and go for that take it, claim it, and also, I really want to thank you all for the advices you have given me, um, that I always, always should use the Phalanx Formation. I didn't use that in the first battle against uh, Koinon uh, Atalon, I think they were called, over at Lar Larissa, but I'm going to try and do it every battle from now on, uh, just to make sure that they are maxed out in combat and used to their full potential in warfare. Uh, okay, so we're recruiting troops here. Uh, it's gonna take some time. Uh, hopefully these guys are gonna replenish a tiny bit. And yeah, I want a full stacked army and then we're gonna march towards Apollonia. And as soon as Athens makes a mistake, gets this army out of Athens itself, I'm going to try and go in there and take it from them. Athens is the most important settlement for us in the Spartan campaign, I think. Uh, I think we need this settlement. If we take Pella, for example, I don't think we're going to be able to trade from that location either. We need Athens. I'm pretty damn sure, at least. Don't uh, take my word for it, for it. But I think it is like that. Okay, let's take a look at technology. We are on our way. We are soon going to have this one. Plus one to sanitation, all regions. That is quite good. I saw something about another sanitation thingy. I think we're going to go for that. Uh, don't remember where it was. Over here, water sluicing. Slush, slush, I have no idea how to say that. There's a lot of hard words. Water slicing, sluicing, I don't know. <laughs> um, we're going to go for this. I think sanitation... Would be nice to have. I don't want to have a disease outbreak anywhere. Uh, we are going to go for this one. Uh, and when, once this one is done, not sure where we're going to go in terms of technology. But this is the thing we're going for first. Okay. Let's uh, probably end the turn. There's nothing more we can do. We can march with the spy towards Apollonia. For now, we're still friends with Athens. So the spy doesn't need to be there. Let's move towards Apollonia. It, is not defended at all. They have 11 um, units in there, so this should be an easy grab. They probably have all of their military might here at Taurus, I would think, fighting the Roman Empire or the Roman Republic. They're not an empire yet. So, what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna end the turn and we shall see if the enemy does anything to us. I don't think they're gonna do anything because we don't have any enemies. I'm actually a bit nervous um, when I'm recording Divide et Impera because this is so new for me, everything is so new, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this campaign good, I'm not sure yet, I really hope. With your tips and advices though, I think I might be able to pull through, I hope so. Tax labor has been researched, that's good. Uh, no, not tax. Uh, land reclamation has been researched. We're now researching tax labor. That's good. Wonderful. A child is born. Moist. Mo moist. <laughs> Most joyous news. A healthy child is born. A future pillar of the family and the people. 
that's really good news indeed. Um, construction complete. Okay, that's good. Uh, we have, yeah, this one has been ready. Uh, that is quite good, I think. Let's take a look at the squalor. Uh, minus one. Yeah, we want to keep the squalor at a positive. We do not want to keep it at a negative. We don't, it's 1% outbreak risk, but we don't want to have a disease going on in these settlements. That's for goddamn sure. Our population is really important for us, and we do not want to have diseases wreaking havoc on our population. That would suck. Uh, we're going for three more archers here. I'm not entirely sure yet what we should go for. The two last units of the army. Should we go for perhaps some uh, decent... Uh, oh, these guys are javelin. These guys are... Maybe we should go for some javelins. And flank with them. Use the javelins as flanking troops. And just try and throw spears in the backs of the enemy if we can. I think we could try and do that. Um, we have archers. We have a lot of archers. Um, but I want some javelins as well. Um, the archers are pathetically bad firing from the front. Uh, as I've seen from your comments. So we need to try and flank around or come from the sides with these guys. If they are to do any damage. The cavalry is not that effective as well either. Not as Medieval 2. Uh, cavalry in Medieval 2 is the most overpowered thing you can have in your army. Let's take a look at Apollonia here. Um, we cannot see. Let's just try and do some work here with the spy. Uh, go for some sabotage. Let's see if we can level this spy up a bit. Uh, sabotage failed. Uh, both of the actions of this spy has failed this far in the campaign. Hopefully we're going to level this spy up a bit and make some things work eventually with the actions of the spy. I really do hope so. Three more turns for this one. Larissa, we're going for these buildings here. It's going to take some time until they're done. I think building buildings in Divided Imperia takes a lot longer than Vanilla Rome 2. I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, so let's just uh, end the turn again, because we are just not going to be able to do anything at the moment. We cannot do anything. Um, these were the guys we wanted to go for. Perioikoi... We don't have the highest manpower number of Perioikoi available. We could go for Helots instead, just regular Javelins. Um, maybe we should go for them instead, the regular Javelins, to save some of the Perioikoi uh, people from uh, battling troops. I think we're going to queue up some of these Helots. Um, actually, we could maybe recruit them uh, at Larissa instead, standing on the border. I think we should do that instead. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, we can recruit. Uh, yeah, we can recruit them there uh, to Larissa. So we're just going to recruit these guys here, and then we're going to move to the border here, and then recruit the javelins from there, and then we're going to march towards Apollonia with this amazing Spartan army. Let's end a turn once again. A new faction rises. Elumais. Okay, where are you located? Over here in the desert. Uh, okay, we're not going to see you for quite some time, but um, good for you. Um, Good that you have risen. Unhappy populace. Yeah, we know they don't like us. We are actually going forwards, though, in Sparta. That is a good sign. Uh, Larissa still absolutely hates us. Um, uh, but we're getting there. Minus three now, so it's looking quite good. There's some local bandit. Um, household expanse. I have no idea what this does, actually. I need to look into these things. I really feel like I do. Um... Some bonus things, I, I think. The Yeah, minus banditry and plus one cunning. That's good. I think this is a trait or um, ancillary or something. Yeah, that's good. We need those things. And let's put this guy on the border. We're not replenishing anymore because we're out of uh, first class citizens here, probably. If you move over to this area, could we please replenish anything? Stand over there. Get me some of these... Uh, Javelin men. Hello, Javelin men. Get them, and then we shall march towards Apollonia. Um, we can still not recruit anything or construct anything. We can, however, try to poison the things here. Is it worth it, though? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We need to level up our 
agent who has failed us a lot this far. Arethusa, I'm not sure you're up for the job or you're up for the challenge. Let's hope that you are soon because we need you to do some better work here. The regions we want to get first is Macedonia and Hellas. Those are the provinces we want to take first. And once we've taken Macedonia and Hellas, I'm not sure where we want to go. Do you want to continue pushing for forwards north? Take um, Thrace, Dacia, or do you want to a expeditionary force down to Egypt and claim the fertile lands of the Nile River after Macedonia and Hellas has been claimed? That's the most important priority at the moment. Okay, uh, let's end the turn one last time and then we shall indeed move towards Apollonia and smash the... Epirot Lords here. Let's end the turn again. A new mission issued. Um, a champion. Okay, so we need to recruit the following agents. A champion. Okay. Uh, let's do that. We can recruit that. We have money for it. We're not earning that much though. Uh, but we are going to recruit the champion. Um, I'm not sure how much they're going to cost though. Yep. Uh, okay, they don't seem to cost anything in upkeep. That's good. We could potentially send this into the army to train the troops. Because I think that's what they're gonna do if we can do that. Um, not this turn though, we need to wait a turn because they cannot move yet. But maybe send it into the force to get these guys even stronger. It's a thing we can do. I don't like this at all. They have a full stacked army inside, they have this huge garrison inside and they're creating another army. They're creating yet another army at Athens. That is something that is quite scary I think. Uh, character, personality report, um, growth per turn, public order per turn, minus replenishment rate for all units, that is not good at all. This is good though, plus 10 morale, that's really good. Uh, the year in history, let's take a look at this, if there's anything interesting. Um, I'm just going to scroll this down for you and you can read this one if you want to. Okay, um, I think we're ready. Oh, we cannot march that long. It's going to take some time for us to reach Apollonia. Can we go for forced march? Is that a thing in this? I'm not sure. I don't think so. No. Well, we're just going to march into Epirus territory here. And they're not going to be happy with this. Uh, they might actually be able to react in time here. We don't have a lot of movement points at all. It's going to take a long time for us to reach here. That's actually quite redonkulous. Uh, but we will go. We will go for Apollonia. Uh, we, that's just how it is. <laughs> we need to expand the Spartan Empire. At least we have a full stacked army this time. Uh, we need some replenishing, replenishing though. But uh, we are almost full stacked. I don't think it's going to be easy to have a completely full stacked army in uh, divided Impera at all times. That's just not going to be easy with the population thingy that you need to worry about all the time. Let's take a look at diplomacy. Is there any new faction that we can actually parley with? It doesn't look like it. Um, there's nothing we need to parley about. Um, Rome perhaps we could probably maybe get an alliance with them. I think they're at war, they're at war with Epirus. So if we declare war against Epirus I think Rome is gonna like me quite a lot. So Rome is definitely a potential ally. Um, in this early game. Champion, I want you into the army if you can later. Try to get over there. Spy, let's see if we can try and do a thing with you again and maybe get some experience to you. Sabotage fail again. Yeah, but you did get a rank though. You did get a rank. That's good. Okay, what do you want to get? Um, movement range, uh, enemy agents, cunning, Critical success in all actions. That's the thing we want for the spy. Oh, we have two. We have two, actually. Evading enemy agents. Maybe we should go for this one. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, this is the thing we want to go for. Okay, just take a point in that one. I want to get as many of these critical success thingies as possible for the spy. Uh, because we want to succeed in our things when we go for their towns and cities trying to sabotage their 
military infrastructure and things like that. Well, let's end it on again. The need for cavalry. Despite your undoubted military might, some have drawn attention to the fact that your cavalry lacks strength and numbers. Um, recruitment cost. Um, well, we really don't need anything of this because we're not going to recruit any new cav at the moment. Um, but if we do, I would probably prefer an extra, two extra experience ranks for the cavalry recruits. So we're going to go for that. We're now. Researching water slushing, uh, sluicing. Um, good, it's good to see. Construction report. We got the barracks at Sparta, and we did get the concentrated grounds here. Uh, this says that no. I thought we we're gonna get some public order, but uh, they hate us again here. We're going minus a lot. We can move this into the army. That's good to know. And we can also reach Apollonia. That is also really good to know. Lay siege. Declare war. Yes. Oh, they have allies, though. Syracuse is their allies. This is problematic, indeed. Uh, they might send a fleet towards me. Um, but we're going to risk it. Let's go against them. They are joined by so Syracuse as well. Uh, this is an easy outer assault. But, oh lord, they have a lot of... Uh, Troops here, but a lot of trash. Greek hoplites. Um, just encircle for now. Encircle the settlement. Champion. Try to go into this army as soon as you can. Military training, we want that. Spy, move over to Pella. Uh, spy over there. Oh, look at these armies. They have their pikemen as well. Bronze shield pikemen. This is. Macedonia is probably a tough faction. Uh, to take down. We're definitely going to have to use uh, our missile tr troops against these guys whenever we face them. I think Sparta is probably not the most powerful faction in uh, Divided Impera, I would imagine. So we need to make good use when we have battle of our ranged troops. What do we go for here? Public order, sanitation. I think these are quite good. Um, maybe it was this one. Research rate, that is quite good. Maybe we should go for research rate here. Because if we go for a lot of these, we're going to have a nice time researching things in the technology tree. And it's also going to give 0.5% first and second class growth, as well as public order growth. We're going for the Shrine of Athena here. If you think there's better alternatives uh, with these, please let me know. For example, in Sparta or in Hellas, we should probably maybe get this one. The Shrine of Ares, I think, would be beneficial to get because we're going to do a lot of recruitment in the Hellas region. Uh, so this is a good thing to have possibly in the Hellas region. But here we're going for the research rates. I do wonder what kind of nice new troop did we get here. We're gonna have to wait and see when we get there later, when we're recruiting more troops again. Um, let's take a look. Is there any possible way for us to get ceasefire with these guys? No, it's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. We are now at war with two factions. Uh, Syracuse, you are at war with a lot of factions. Hopefully, these guys are not going to focus me down. That is what I'm hoping. Because they're currently at war. Or hopefully, maybe Carthage might just destroy them. That would be better. Uh, we don't want to fight these guys just yet. We don't have the manpower for it. But uh, this is a big threat. If they send a fleet over to Sparta, we're going to have issues. We have a big garrison here, though. So we might be able to withstand an attack here. Uh, we currently don't have the money for a fleet yet, so... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what Syracuse does to us here. But for now, Apollonia is going to be ours. Let's go in and let's destroy. I think, honestly, we would po probably benefit from our resolving here. But I'm not gonna do that. We're going to fight them on the field. Uh, what's this? Some pikes and some good cavalry. Pyrrhus! Oh, we're fighting Pyrrhus of Epirus here. The legendary, legendary commander, Pyrrhus. Well, Spartans, prepare yourself. 
We're fighting a terribly efficient foe here. We need to be at our toes in order to make victory happen here. Let's go in and let's fight for Sparta. Let's go in. Alright, let's do this. Let's wait. I want a clear view of the map. There we go. Dry. That's perfect. Start deployment. Uh, let's see how we go about this. They're gonna have some extra ships coming in. Um, I'm going to try and use the Perioikoi first here. They're easily more replenished uh, than the Spartans, as someone said in the comments. Oh, God, I need, really need to remember your guys' names. But I want to use these guys first, and then perhaps the general as well would be nice to have. He He's just such a good unit, so he could really do a lot of work against the enemy in a melee. But these guys, I think I'm going to have them in reserve uh, in the back here yeah, somewhere. We might use them later, but for now we're going to go for the Perioikoi. Mm. Where do I begin? Um, we have some different areas where we can punch you through. We're gonna have to spread out our force, I think, would be the best course of action, perhaps. Let's do that. Let's send some of the Perioikoi here. Let's see. Uh, how do we group in this game? There we go. Selection group. Let's do that. G. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, let's uh, take some Perioikoi over to this side as well. Send them over here. Okay. And the general. Where did we put you? I'm not sure yet. Um, the general, as, along with one Spartan Hoplite, is going here. And these guys are going to reinforce where the battle is at its thickest. If they can flank or something, maybe, perhaps. Um, let's see. Look at the balance of power now. It's not as good as it, as it was in the Archer Assault, that's what got them sure. Let's uh, take some Archers to this side as well. Uh, and let's take some Archers and Javelins to this side. Javelins, you're gonna join this side as well. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's start the battle. Uh, oh lord, they have a lot of things. I think what we need to do is march forwards with these guys and they are gonna have to be in phalanx formation. I want you to walk as well. How does it look on these side? I really don't know how the AI operates in Divide at Impair. I have no idea. So everything is quite new for me. Let's slowly but surely walk over there. We have a lot of archers here. Let's walk them up there as well. Uh, archers, I want you to walk over here as well, slowly but surely. Javelins, you can join. These spears here, I want you to block their potential cavalry charge out of here. So if you go into phalanx formation and walk over here, uh, please don't run, you can walk over there. And I'm also going to use these guys, uh, go into phalanx and stand somewhere around there. Take the longer way and walk as well. Okay, we need to try and flank with our javelin troops. They have some guys coming from the ships here. Okay, some missile troops, javelin troops and pikes. Those guys are scary. We need to focus these guys down with the archer fire and javelin shots. They don't have a lot of missiles though. That is a good thing. We just need to get rid of this cavalry and then try and flank around with our missiles. Actually, cavalry, if you could march over here, if you could just help out here and destroy these archers here, uh, that would be good. Then we could potentially flank around with our archers and fire in the backs of these guys. That's what we're gonna do. This cavalry is going to take this way over here. We don't want to get flanked by these guys, though. Archers. Uh, do we want to waste ammunition on these guys from the front? I don't think so. Let's slowly but surely walk forwards. Let's go in for phalanx formation and let's slowly but surely walk forwards. You're firing at the moment. I don't want you to do that. Stop firing. want to save our ammunition for later when we have better opportunities to fire. You're also firing over here. That's not what I want you to do at the moment. Stop that. You can fire at their archers though. That's one thing you can absolutely do. Feel free to fight them. Perioikoi, feel free to slowly but surely march forwards here. I'm taking it slow and steady here. I really am. 
I don't want to make any crucial mistakes. Yeah, feel free to destroy their archers here. The cavalry is on its way. Let's get it over here. Let's squeeze them through here and destroy these Greek archers there. That's the plan. Let's take a look. My guys are in phalanx. Uh, we're not attacking anything. Let's try and go for an attack. Move here. Go for the Greek hoplites. You can go for the citizens here. Yeah? Actually, just stand over there. Prepare for these guys. Okay, so we're firing. Let's try this out. We need to double click in order to attack them here. Yeah? Let's try and do that. Just want to see how it works. Yeah, okay, they're pushing forwards a bit there. Okay, interesting. They're fighting. You guys, Perioikoi, let's move forwards. Don't run, go slowly, surely. Forwards. Their archers are getting destroyed. Let's send you over to this archer unit. Let's flank now with these archers. Let's begin the journey. Let's go around, stand somewhere around there and attack these guys. We could try and flank these guys a little bit. You can push forward. Oh, we're not in phalanx yet. Bloody hell, go into phalanx formation. I cannot forget about that. That's really important. As you guys have stated to me. Go into phalanx formation. That's crucial. Go and flank these guys. There we go. Cavalry, you're going there. Perfect, you can destroy these guys. Wipe them off the face of the earth as well. <laughs> Feel free to do that whenever you can. I think the battle is going in our favor. I'm not sure. The battle is going quite slow. They're moving in here. If you can flank these guys from the side, that would be beneficial. Sparta. Uh, Spartan hoplites, if you want to get yourself involved here, you can start moving forwards a tiny bit. Go slowly forwards. These guys are going into the shores now. We need to be prepared for them. Let's see if we can break these guys. These guys are almost broken. Push forwards, guys. Break them. Archers, we have we have archers coming in from behind. That's really quite good. If you can form up over here. Cavalry, destroy these archers here. Pyrrhus is over here. Where is he? Where is Pyrrhus? He's over there looking heavily armored. Uh, he needs to die. I bet the Romans are going to be happy with us if we destroy Pyrrhus here. We have some troops coming in here. We need to take them out with the archers. Uh, form up over there. Javelins, you can support them. Support with the fire there. My guys here are going forward slowly but surely. Uh, let's see. We're, we're breaking them. Cavalry, just kill as many as you can. Make sure that they're completely and utterly destroyed from the face of the earth. Archers, destroy these um, uh, Epirut archers. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing here. They're just standing still at the moment. Let's just keep on moving forwards. These guys have been freed up. Um, let's uh, move in. Let's, sand let's box them in here if we can. Not the cavalry though. Only the melee forces. Uh, get them over there. Cavalry, I'm not sure yet where we're going to send you. Not against Pyrrhus because he's going to smash you in the face. I think. He's probably a lot stronger. Uh, these guys are taking a lot of casualties at the moment. You guys need to help here. We are doing a lot of damage to these guys. Feel free to throw. Fire and will. Destroy them. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's absolutely magnificent. These guys are going to break soon. You guys need to try and flank here. Uh, we, this button we should probably make good use of. Uh, reform the line. Let's see what they do here. You guys have stated that as well. That if you press this button, they should try and reform the line. But they didn't do anything. You flank these guys in the back. Cavalry, you're getting stuck here. That's not intended. Get the hell out of there. Well, go for the cavalry then. Uh, because they're not doing anything. Spartans, go forwards. See if we can catch these guys. We should be able to destroy them easily. Yeah, their archers have been utterly destroyed. Let's see if we can do some work against their pikes as well. With their archers and javelins. It looks like they're breaking off here. We have them surrounded. That's good news. Actually, cavalry. Oh, uh, if we go for these guys, I think Pyrrhus is going to engage us. We're going to try. We're going to risk it. Let's go for the Greek archers there with the cavalry. Archers on this flank. Uh, feel free to fire at these guys in the back. Commander, uh, Spartan general. Let's take a look at him again. He's just what a beast of a unit this is. Look at these guys. They look absolutely powerful as hell. Um, space. Engage these space. You. Uh, I'm not sure we can maybe flank here, perhaps. 
general, go into battle, go into combat. We are firing in the backs of these guys, which is going to mean that they should break soon. Over here, we are actually seeing some of our own troops break. Let's try and just move up the guys. Okay. Are they even good? They're not reforming their lines. Okay, just to form up. Yeah. Together, go in, flank, take this off and run, please. Get into position. They have Greek citizens here. Come on, guys. Surely we should be able to destroy them. And go into phalanx again. There we go. These guys should be easily killed. We have some citizens here. We're destroying these archers here. That's good. What do we have here? Pikes. Those are those are the guys we want to try and destroy. Fire at them. Javelins, go from the sides here. Let's see what we can do. There we go. They're turning their backs to us. That's actually really good. That's really quite great. Javelins, get closer. See what we can do against these guys. We're winning here. Yeah, they're broken. Spartans, you're doing well. Archers, focus these Greek militia. Hoplites down, please. Let's take a look. How is it going here? They're going off my javelins. Oh, feel free to fire before they reach you. One volley, can you do that for me? Doesn't look like it. Get the hell out of there. We're doing good damage to these uh, pikes, though, which is good. Yeah, we're doing really good damage. These guys are weak to archer fire, I think. Archers kite back a tiny bit. There we go. How is it going here? Everyone go for this unit. Just destroy it. These guys are broken. Let's focus these guys down. Everyone is broken now. Good. Archers. Uh, stand over there. I want the Spartan general to stand over here. My cavalry is destroying the Greek citizens. I'm not surprised. Take that off. Stand as a blockade here and let the archers fire at their general. Oh, we're getting we're getting caught here. Get the hell out of there. Archers, fire at these guys again. These shark spines. These guys are fast. Let's send the cavalry over here and aid our javelin men. Let's see if we can get a volley. Fire on the enemy indeed. Let's take a look here. It's spread out a bit here with the archers. Not you. You're gonna stay where you are. You're getting caught now. Get that out. You're out of ammunition. Go into melee with them. You're also out. Go into melee. Cavalry, charge these guys in the back. You are free to fire at will on them. Send the other arch unit over here. And the other somewhere around there. Okay, you can start firing on them. I think they have their backs against you. Let's go. Fire on them. Cavalry, charge these guys in the back. This should melt the pikes. We're firing from all sides. This is not going to be... Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're getting smashed. They're getting absolutely smashed here. But they're quite fast. We need to kite back a tiny bit again. Here we have some Greek hoplites. Um... Send um, just this entire squadron against them. General, I want you to stand over there. You can run as well if you want to. Cavalry, uh, let's try and charge again, shall we? These guys should break soon. Hopefully. Um... Where are you going, Cabra? I th think I th said to you that you should charge these guys. What, what, what are you doing? Get over here. I want you to charge these guys in the back. Surely they should break soon. Come on. Archers, come on. Interrupting my archers now. Javelins, I want you to go into melee with them. Stay over there. We want to charge these guys in the back. Keep up the fire at these guys. 144 guys left. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Smashing that. Where's the rest of them? This surely cannot be 118 guys. No way. They're missing some troops. No idea where they are. Just to try and annihilate them. Oh, they're going off my cavalry. Keep kiting away from them. Uh, stand over there, general. Archers, form up over there. Fire at Pyrrhus of Epirus. Where's the rest of the units? Keep keep up the fire, boys. 
We have a slow and steady battle going on here. They're broken, they're gonna break soon. I have no idea what where the rest of the unit is. Absolutely no idea. I'll just fire at Pyrrhus. If we kill him, surely the rest of the troops should break away. Go into Phalanx as well. See if we can do some damage to them. We've killed one of them. These guys look heavily armored, but uh, hopefully my artists can do some work against them. And then we're just going to send in the Spartan Hoplite if uh, we're out of ammunition. He's going to destroy Pyrrhus himself. Greek citizens, where did you come from? 235 troops. I'm not sure where the rest of these guys are. It doesn't look like they have 235 troops here. I have no idea. Stay away from the... Bloody hell, this battle is taking so much longer than it has to take. Go and destroy these guys, please. Take out these Greek militias. Catching my javelins here. Archers, fire at them, please. How on earth is this? I'm not sure what's going on here. Is there like a glitch? Have they glitched our troops on the beach or something? Could that be the case? Because if we press fire here, they they want to go over here. Get over there and scout a bit. See if we can find anything. And yeah, we're doing some solid damage to Pyrrhus. That's good. With the archers. Yeah, they're doing some solid work. Uh, Spartan General, you can start moving over here actually because he's not doing anything. He's just standing still. I'm not sure why. They're shattered. That's good. The um, Okay, everyone is looking to break now. That's good. We have victory this day. Yep. Yep, there we go. And the battle. Decisive victory. Uh, was a weird, some weird glitches here. Uh, I think some of the troops were missing on some of the enemy units. Perhaps they were glitched out somewhere. I have no idea. Well, Apollonia is ours. Pyrrhus has been destroyed. That's really good news. Let's take a look at the kills. 166 for the general. And these guys did well, but they took some losses as well. The cavalry did well. They've actually come in quite handy, these cavalry units. In the beginning of the campaign. That's good. Another beautiful victory. Um, over here, we're also just going to occupy and liberate. What's the faction that will spawn here? Well, we're just going to occupy. Um, I'm a little bit nervous on how the public order is going to look at that. He is dead. Pyrrhus of Epirus has fallen. A mighty foe for both the Spartan people and the Roman people. Military traditions, that's a good thing. Oh, look at the public order here. Oh, we have the second tier. Second tier barracks here. That is something that is quite interesting. Let's see if we can take a look at what we can recruit here. Merge these guys up, please. And uh, then we could merge these guys up. Let's merge everyone here. And let us disband this unit here. Okay. What can we recruit here? That's going to be interesting to take a look at. We can get Spartan guest hoplites. Oh lord, how good are they? They're about the same as uh, the regular Spartan hoplites in effectiveness. Uh, but they're not from the first class citizens. That's a good thing. It's really quite good that we have these guys available. Because they're as effective as these guys, but they're not from the first class citizens. That's really good. Uh, what more can we get? Is that all that we got? I think so. Yeah. That's everything we did get. Uh, maybe we should recruit these guys then. Oh, they think... Three turns to recruit. Oh, that's a long time. That's a long time. Uh, perhaps then, maybe not. Because we don't want to linger here for three turns. That's absolutely not the case. Uh, we, maybe we should fill up the ranks with one more Spartan Hoplite. And then get another. We could go for the cavalry here. 
because we're gonna have silver experience. You know what? We, we're making good use of this cavalry unit. I'm gonna risk getting another cavalry unit. That's gonna be all of the first class citizens we have in our army. When we can and when we have the time, we're gonna try and focus on getting these guys instead of the perioikoi. Because these guys are quite great. They're quite costly though. That's a thing they are. What do we have in here? We have this barracks here. Which is quite great. Um, sanitation is really good here. Um, okay, maybe not. Larissa is good sanitation, not um, Apollonia. Minus one. But we're going to get plus here once we have re researched the technology here. So I don't feel scared. Let's take a look at the population here. Plus one of, on the first class. Everything else is going down. In terms of buildings here, do we try and get the some military port here? Could be beneficial because we're now closing in towards Syracuse. Maybe military ships would be nice to have. Perhaps this one. This is going to gain us a lot of wealth. I'm not sure. We don't have the money for it anyway, so we cannot upgrade this. Uh, so we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, let's take a look and see. if Can we trade now with someone? No, we cannot. We cannot trade with a single faction. We need Athens. That's just how it is. Um, Macedon likes me now because of the fact that we're declaring war against Epirus. But uh, we want to try and destroy Macedon later and get Pella. Get this entire region. Perhaps if we get an opening against Macedon, maybe we can get some friendly relations with the RDIA. RDIA, RDIA I think that's how you say it. Um, to keep them off our borders. Let's see. Greetings. Low, okay. Not... Uh, Rome. How about a non-aggression pact? Yes. Please. Oh, we should have Your asked them for money, I think. We should have asked them for money. Can you give us 600 gold? No. <laughs> it's too late now. We sh it was high. We should have gotten the uh, some extra cash from them. That was actually not that great for my part. Uh, but we have the non-aggression with them. That's good. Um, we don't need to worry about Rome. And look at that. They have two full stacked armies already. Uh, they are scary, boy. They really are. Um, I feel like we need to be on good terms with the Romans for the moment. I don't think we have the power yet to face them. You're going into the army. Uh, military training, please. Um, we are really lacking in terms of wealth. And uh, the Macedonian province absolutely hates me. We have some challenges that need to be taken care of in the next episode. That's for goddamn sure. Um, and uh, Georgi Mihalkov said that there is a thing you can do with the shading. Uh, maybe I should look into that before the next episode. I did do one thing though, and that is this one. I agree with that. It's much more nice to see how many troops there is in the unit oh, like this. So thank you for that tip. Uh, it looks like we're replenishing quite fast here in Apollonia, which is great. Uh, we want that. We want to replenish our troops. That is something we need. Uh, yeah, they're really replenishing fast here. That's nice to see. Of course, military traditions. That is something we need to take a look at. Let's take a look. What do we go for? 3 plus melee attack skill for all spear armed infantry units. That is really good for a faction like Sparta. Uh, plus 2 morale for all units during offensive battles. Melee defense skill for all spear armed infantry units. And morale for defensive battles. And attack range for all siege weapons. Attritional losses when besieging. I think as we are going a little bit on the offensive here, forging our great Spartan kingdom here, we're going to go for the Strategos Spear. And we can get another point. That's really good. I like that. Missile damage inflicted by all missile units. That's really huge. That's huge. Because uh, those are the damage dealers for us in our battles. It's not the hoplites. It's the range troops, it's the archers, it's the javelin men that are the hammer of our force. Uh, so, absolutely, 
more damage for the javelins and the archers is beneficial. We can even go for more. Is this my birth there, what? This is just wonderful. Um, in foreign territory, attack skill for all spear armed units. Yes, let's go for that. Good. This arm is getting better and better. I'm real excited for how this is going to turn out. Okay, that's going to be all for this episode. Um, it's been an exciting episode, it's been fun. Uh, I enjoy recording this because, as I've said, Divided Empire is really new for me as well, so everything is like a new thing. I don't know where I'm putting my head into here, so I'm really excited for the things that might come up um, in the future. One thing we need to do, sneak in and take Pella whenever we can. If RDIA, if they march away from Pella towards RDIA, we're gonna run towards Pella and take it swiftly, because at the moment I don't think we can fight these guys here, there's no way. I don't think so. Okay, that's gonna be all. I really hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I have certainly enjoyed it. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Goodbye to you all.